Hello everybody and welcome back to another video back in the Mist Gold yet again. And it has been not that long this time, but it has actually been a good amount of time, a nice short time, not two months like last time, since the last Mystical World video. Whoops. And I think it is good that we're getting back on a schedule. I think I'm going to at least try and get a video up uh, once a week. I'm, my plan is twice, but you never know. And I think I had the, I started the music. I couldn't. I can't hear it. I have the volume down on the TV really low, so it doesn't pick up my mic. But anyway, um, we're first heading over to the fan village, like always, to add someone to it. And um, a lot of you guys clicked on my last video that I posted, and um, I got way more views and likes than I thought it would. Way quicker. And I thank you guys for sticking with my channel, even though I haven't posted for two months. That's great that you guys give that support, and I just want to say thank you for it. And today, underneath Random Awesome Guy, we are adding Flasher BG. He subscribed, I think, about four months ago. But thank you for subscribing, and yeah, welcome to the Fan Village. And first off, we're going to finish what, well, try and get farther, and I doubt we're going to complete everything we have to do with this project. But we're, um, we're going to finish, or work more on the path underneath the, the house. Now, um, now you're going to see it really take form, because last time we didn't get very far with it whatsoever, which was really unfortunate, but it's going to look pretty nice, and it, it just spruces up the house, and when we add the, uh, when we add the, well, like, we have a walkway next to the house now, but when we add the roof over it, like the, um, like on the other side of the house, like on top of this part of the path right here, it's going to look really nice. And then we're going to have that second floor walkway like we do here. And I don't know if, um, what I'm going to do with that. And there it is. There's the music playing. I don't know if I'm going to have a pool on the back part of the house, like this portion of the house that may or may not have a second floor. Uh, I'm still deciding. Oh, and you're probably wondering what these trap doors are here. And this ladder, well, I didn't want to craft more ladders, and I had some trapdoors left over, so I made it as a uh, temporary temporary way to get to the roof. But this is the path that I mean. There's going to be a path just like it on the other side in the near future. And um, it's going to be, it'll lead over to this um, patio like that. And I think that'll be like a nice dining area for when we invite people over. But first off, we're going to start working on the uh, stone bricks going around the outside of this under here. And what's going to be in the middle between these, uh, oh, that's going to bother me now. Now I don't like leaving those gaps in my house because it's like, I know monsters won't spawn, but like it's just a dark area. I don't know, it kind of looks weird when you're, um, when you're looking at the house, I don't know. But I'm just going to build this to here, and uh, there's a stone pillar coming down every four blocks. And I marked it with torches, so it's just quick, easy to um, fill, uh, to build. And that is where um, that is what's supporting the house. So it's four between each one, but then this last one, there's five. So this will ring all the way around here. And I don't think this has been um, pulled out as far as it needs to. Yeah, this is only three blocks. We're going to have to extend this out one more with uh, one more thing of dirt just to make it uh, enough room for the pond under here. But first, oh, it's becoming night already. Yeah, I, I went to sleep, but then I had to get the materials on me and I just had a few more things to do before the video started. So yeah, it's already becoming night, which isn't, isn't really good because that means we're going to have to run inside and go to sleep, but we can do that quick. Let me just, uh, so, do this quick. So the stripe pattern is going to be like this. It's going to be birch and oak wood planks. And it's just going to stripe all the way along to the other side. But we're starting with birch because it'll, uh, break up the oak wood. Because if I put oak wood there, it just looked too, um, there's just too much oak wood planks. So starting with the birch, I thought looked better. Or I think looks better. So, yeah, I just, I hope it, it, turned out nice when I built it in the creative world. Hopefully I will, um, hopefully it'll turn out nice in survival as well. But I would like to show you, there was some confusion last time. I got confused with where the stone wall was supposed to be. 
I'd actually built it, built it in the right place correctly. I just put in the path just too far over, like I had it right here, and it was supposed to be right here. And if you guys noticed, I kind of landscaped and I made it flow, the land flow down, which usually I like natural more. But I think that looks nice, and I just realized it probably looked better if I left it like this. I think instead of making it do what it was just doing there. So if it goes like this. And it flows up like that. I think that'll look a little bit smoother. Yeah, it'll just match up on each side. So that, there we go. That looks nice. But I want to go like that. There we go. So that, um, that all matches up now. So let's start getting working on the stripes again. And I've been, when I first started building this house, and I thought, it, I never imagined, well, I wanted it to be a big house, but I didn't think it'd be as, um, ever get as elaborate as it has now. But... When this house started coming over the edge, Master Kai kept telling me that uh, that I should build up the ground, and I and I thought, well, wouldn't it be kind of cool if there was a path that went underneath of it, and you could kind of like see underneath the house, and I don't know, there's you could see the supports that would be holding up the house, and it kind of makes it more modern because if you look at some of the modern houses, they're usually kind of floating like. Not all of them, but a lot of them are kind of hanging off edges like that. I don't know. I think it just kind of um, breaks up the uh, breaks up just the typical sand and gravel path. Um, and yeah, it's just a good use of space, I think. So I'm gonna quickly finish this up, and there's gonna be uh, slopes. Like when it starts coming around here, the uh, stone bricks are gonna slope up by. Um, I'm gonna use. Uh, stone brick stairs so it looks like it's sloping and holding up the um the uh dirt big the, the big dirt floating block here that i built this on I mean, look at that it just looks like a big thing of dirt and what that originally was going to be was it going it was going to be a continuation of my farm but then i just wanted to continue building my house instead so i um so i just kind of turned it into a fountain and, I don't know, it turned out nice, and it kind of looks pretty. But there, that's how this is going to look as of right now. This is going to be the path that goes underneath. Now, if I am correct, I'm going to have to check my uh, photo here. The, stair the stairs are oak wood, so that would mean that I uh, did it correctly. So let me just check here. Oh, they're supposed to be birch. So did I... Oh, yeah, because they're supposed to come... Um, come down right here and then reach into the um, the dirt area. That's how that's supposed to work. So this needs to be all changed to birch uh, stairs, which I should have a few somewhere, but I'm not too sure. So I'll just craft some. So let me go over here. And where are the stairs? There they are, right there. So I'll grab some of the stairs. That's way too many. Um, that's alright, I can always, I have uh, quite a few birch trees around here, but yeah, I don't know why I crafted so many. Oh, what a waste. Um, let's see, I should have some dirt on me, so if I can grab it and put it there finally. Um, go like that, there we go. So, will it curve it? I knew it would do that, I knew it would do that. So I need to go like that, break this. I need to get this dirt, I need to run it all the way along here. Break this torch. There you go. It should do that. And then we'll continue the, the pattern along over through here. So when this drops down, it yeah, I made way too many of those stairs. The pattern will go oak, then birch, and it will just keep going all the way the same along here. And then there will be a nice little pond here, which we will add, but I'm trying to think of what I should do next. If I should add the stairs along the edges, because I might not have enough stone bricks to do that. So that immediately turns to stone bricks. So what I need to do is I need to craft a bunch of stone bricks. Um, hopefully not too many. This time I'll actually need a lot. So um, let's go for about a stack of them, I think. Okay, that'll be good. So basically, oh, come on, I can't. You can't start sprinting downstairs. I've noticed that. Like if you're on a, on stairs and you try and start sprinting, it won't let you. But this should go like this. I think is how this is gonna work. If I am correct, 
Let me check the photo one more time. Sorry about the wait, guys. I think I just... Um, oh, cancel. There we go. Okay, so that just... That is right up along here, so... Whoops. So I think that the stairs are supposed to... Um, uh, the stairs are supposed to... I think that's correct how I was building it. So, um... The stairs are supposed to sit right here. And then this starts going around. Yeah, that's correct. And then this will be oak and birch, I believe. So let me just move this all over. Oak and birch. So this should go like this, I think. Or is it going to be stone bricks there? I'm not sure. I think it's stone bricks right here. So if I change this really quickly, we're already at 10 minutes. Jeez, ah, time flies when you're um when you're making YouTube videos. It really does. Oh, and I forgot we have to extend this out. So let me go grab um a whole other stack of dirt. Uh, there's so much work to be done with this, uh, and so little time to do it. So um I think that should be enough dirt. It's for sure. There's no way it's not enough dirt. But if um if I go over here and I place this, hopefully I can reach up there. Yeah, I can. I knew I could, but I wasn't sure, but sometimes it does like that weird thing where you have to, you can reach it one place, but not the other, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that happens to me a lot, so, there, yeah, okay, I'm going to cut down this tree really quickly because it's going to be in the way. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, I have so many trees right here, it's kind of crazy. I just, when I first started cutting trees, I just, um, I just all planted them back here because I never, um, Never planned for it to be coming far this far back. So this should come down like that, I believe. No, it's uh it's stairs and then the pillars behind it, I think is how it ends up working. So then there should be the pillar right here. If I am correct. Let me check. Oh, something just popped up on my computer, um, telling me to update iTunes, but I'm not gonna do that. And I do have a Windows computer. I'm just using uh I just have iTunes on it. So, if I look at it, really? Okay, this is, um, I think that's how that works. So, this will then come around here, and this will line this all the way. Oh, the tree's getting in the way there. Uh, and, oh, let me break this. I was trying to try and get around it, but I couldn't. I think I made, um, I mean, I didn't make too many, because these stairs are actually going to, oh, Oh, am I supposed to, uh, oh, I see what I'm supposed to do now. I'm supposed, I was supposed to, uh, no, this raises up here. This raises up and it goes to, uh, it goes up onto here. And I got a break in place. Unfortunately, I did it incorrectly, so I've got to quickly do this now. Got a break in place, which I didn't do. So what this is... What this is now going to do is it's going to lift up and then it's going to act like it's holding the stone path. So it's kind of going to curve all the way along here, which doesn't look exactly the best right there. But it should, um, it should all come together. Because I think it'll look better with it not being dirt underneath there. But hold on, let me, uh, uh, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. This is, um, this looks a little bit incorrect, but I'll, I'll fix that once the video is done, but, uh, so I'll just start working on this path again, like this, uh, the stripes, and then I, I should give you guys an idea of how the, uh, the pond is gonna look, so, I know I took a picture of the pond, uh, so this is supposed to start two blocks away from here, so it's supposed to start right here, I got my shovel, I'm gonna start, whoa, oh, I thought that, it looked like there was a big pit there for some reason to me. Uh, so this will go almost all the way back to the, one of the back pillars. So uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to link up this um, this pond with a uh, with this little lake over here, and it's going to come right into here. And then this is going to start spilling down into the pond, and it's going to everything's just kind of it's kind of going to look interconnected, if you know what I mean. So I think that'll make it look a lot nicer, and it'll just make everything work better. So on this pillar over here, okay, so this was supposed to go 
right into the stone bricks here. So if I can break this, this was supposed to go straight down and break up the stairs. And we have to quickly go to bed now, so let me go back in the house. And I have to add a lot more torches down here, otherwise a lot of monsters are going to spawn. Uh, I think we're gonna. the video is going to go to about 19 minutes, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. But this is, uh, this will look really nice when we're done. It, it should spruce up the house a lot. And then when we definitely add the uh, path over here, it'll make it stop looking like a big, flat, rectangular house. Because if you look at that wall, let's face it, it's a little bit boring. So we're going to have to um, make that look just a little bit better. So if we come over here pick up that sapling, we can add this pole here. And then I, kn I remember that the, uh, the path goes around, or the, uh, pool, uh, the pond goes around there like that. I think that is how that works. Yep, and then it goes straight along here for, uh, for just a little while. And then uh, we're actually going to have like a little pathway coming out into the middle of the pond, which should look really nice. Uh, so this will go like that, and then we'll curve in here like this. I'll go like that. I think I should build that like that. I'll curve here. Go in there. Go like that. Oh, I kind of want it to look a little bit more natural. So, um, it's going to go more like this, I think. And then this can be broken, and this can go here. There we go. So... Actually, I want to go like this. So if I go like that, there. Okay, that makes it look a little bit more, um, more of a natural-looking lake, I think. Yeah, because it curves in and then comes out and then there. So wh what I'll do really quickly is I'll dig out this area, and it's, I think it's going to be a. It's either going to be a one block or two block deep pond. And like I said, it's all going to link up with the. Uh, the fountain above, and the fountain above is going to run down into here, and then, uh, then that'll just make everything, um, yeah, everything looks interconnected, like the, the fountain is actually dropping off to somewhere, so it doesn't look like it's just a fountain with not getting water from anywhere, but the problem is, it looks like the water is just falling down here, when in reality, you're supposed to imagine that it's going, falling down and going up, but it, it looks actually really nice, just um, just the way it is. So we're probably going to have like a little sand and gravel path coming out here into the middle of the lake. And then um, over here, we're going to have... Uh, here, let's add some more pillars. We're going to have it link through here, and it's going to kind of wind through here. It's going to like split up, I think, is what I want to do. I'm not really sure. It'll split around here. That's the plan, anyway. And then we're going to both come together and come into this little lake right here. And I just noticed that it's kind of cool. Uh, this is actually like a nice little uh, natural walkway between the uh, the two ponds. And whoa, skeleton, ouch. Give me you stupid skeleton, where are you? Oh, hey, I think he gave me some pretty good arrows. So, oh, whoa. Oh, this is Jobo trying to make his house. And he tried to do a TNT cannon, but... In the newest update of Xbox, the Xbox edition, they've made TNT really weak. Like, it doesn't blow up at all anymore. Like, it still does the same damage, but it doesn't launch you as far. So, like, if you were to build, like, a normal TNT cannon, and you can throw your stuff way up in the air, or throw TNT at some other place, it doesn't work anymore because TNT is not as strong as it used to be, which, when I found that out, it kind of, uh, it was kind of disappointing because I was, uh, if you guys noticed that the, um, the beginning of uh, the last two videos, there has been like a, like three rings in the pond over here. When I run out of the house with that, we were gonna play a game with the TNT cannon, but then when I went to do the video, it didn't work. So it was kind of a failed video, and I don't know. It just uh, so that was there would have been another video breaking into those two months, but that just failed, and then I couldn't find any time, which was really upsetting when I found out that um, they downgraded TNT because I really enjoyed that launching up into the air. I just thought it was fun. I was planning on building an actual uh, game out of that somehow in my um, my mystical amusement park is what I called it. But uh, this 
the, um, this world has gone a lot farther than I thought it was, and I wouldn't still making be making videos if it wasn't you guys, like, in the times I've taken a break, you've still stuck with me and came back and watched my videos, and I really like to thank you for that, and yeah, I just never expected anyone to, to uh, enjoy my videos and stick with them the way they have, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!